You know, for, for me it's a very interesting fight because a lot of fans want this fight, a lot of people want this fight and for me it's a very, very um, big challenge for me. With a big fight coming up this weekend between Guillermo Rigandau and Vasily Lomachenko, we thought we would give you guys a quick update on the tail of the tape to see exactly how these two master boxers will match up. Starting off with Vasily Lomachenko, he is coming to the end of his fourth year as a pro that has seen him fight just 10 times with 9 wins and 1 loss. His defeat coming to Orlando Salido in early 2014. It was a tight and scrappy affair, but I think it's fair to say Lomachenko has certainly improved a lot since then. Vasily is currently 29 years old and is native to Belarus, Nostrovsky, Ukraine. It's here where he honed his masterful boxing skills under father and coach Anatoly, who is undoubtedly one of the best trainers in world boxing at the current date. Lomachenko stands in the range of 5'6 and is actively fighting in the super featherweight division after becoming champion at the 126 pound limit after beating Gary Russell Jr. and then moving up to 130 and defeating Roman Martinez for the WBO title in mid-2016. Challenger Guillermo Rigandau will step into the ring with a perfect 17-0 undefeated record accompanied by 11 jaw-shattering knockouts. And that has resulted in a broken jaw. Quite a significant age gap here as Rigo is currently 37 years old. But as always, he's kept himself in the superb condition of a man 10 years his prior. Guillermo is from the dangerous school of Cuban boxing, which is undoubtedly the most technically gifted nation in the current amateur boxing circuit. Another key factor here will be the significant 8-pound weight jump for Rigo, as he has been competing at the 122-pound bantamweight limit for his entire career. But with Lomachenko being the A-side of negotiations, he has little to no say in what weight they'd compete at. A quick way up on the pros and cons. The professional fight experience lies with Guillermo, but you can argue Lomachenko has been fighting at a more consistent, higher level. The eight-year age gap is certainly something you have to pay close attention to. Regardless of Rigo's condition, father time is undefeated, and Lomachenko is currently in his true prime. They are both schooled extremely well. As I'm sure many of you are aware, these two are both double Olympic gold medalists for their respected nations, and this will be the first time in boxing history we'll see two men with those accolades compete in a professional ring. And finally, the weight differentiation between the two is a negative for Rigo, but it wouldn't be the first time a fighter from 122 has moved up to 130 and won a big fight, so I guess only time will tell to see how Rigo's body reacts. A rather rare occasion, we'll be seeing two southpaw fighters meet in the ring. It's interesting seeing two southpaws fight each other because it's a little awkward because they're used to always fighting right-handers, so it's a little uncomfortable for them. You can literally count the times this has happened in a super fight on two hands over the last 20 or so years. Some of the more notable ones include Nassim Hamed versus Kevin Kelly, Michael Nunn versus Frankie Lyles, Pernell Whitaker versus Julio Cesar Vasquez, and more recently, Eris Landry Lara versus Austin Trout, Manny Pacquiao versus David Diaz, and the unforgettable Sergio Martinez versus Paul Williams. Interestingly enough, Rigandau has already faced four southpaw fighters in his pro career, getting mixed results each time. He stopped three of them in the first two rounds, but had an awkward decision over Ricardo Cordoba in one of them, even getting knocked down in the process. As a professional, it's very hard. Rigandau's knee hit the canvas. Two. That's a knockdown. It's going to be called a knockdown. Lomachenko has beaten one southpaw so far in Gary Russell Jr. in his third professional fight. I think this was a good performance from Vasily overall, and the stance never really played a part in decreasing his performance. You will notice that most of the pre-mentioned southpaw matchups have actually made for great spectacles. It's weird to get used to at first, but once they settle down, the fists will start doing the talking.
The power matchup is a no contest in all honesty. As Rigo has aged, he's relied much less on his jab and foot movement while focusing a large amount of his game on his straight left hand. And scores a knockdown. This is one of the best punches in boxing today and has managed to break more jaws than any other active boxer could dream of. And that has resulted in a broken jaw. In Lomachenko's defense, he is the naturally bigger man, but is not known for his one-punch power. Then again, we all saw Martinez's face on the canvas after Vasily clipped him with that brutal right hand. Well, that was pretty explosive. Over. What a right hook. To me, Vasily is at the age where he is still learning more and has the ability and youth in his legs to be able to try new tricks without focusing too much on power like Rikidao. But even with the weight disadvantage, if you were to put these two on a punch machine challenge, I know where my money's going. <laughs>